Oh, this is wow. Cool. What's this? Whoa. What are we playing? <laughs> I don't even know what you clicked on. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, it's called North. Oh. This is Okay. Yeah. All right. I feel like I'm watching an indie movie based off the 80s. You know how they're doing that now. Yes. It looks like the be it looks like it could be based off of like the beginning of Never Ending Story or something. It reminds me of It Follows, which you still haven't watched. Everything reminds you of It Follows. I like to listen to the soundtrack of It Follows and walk around the city and pretend I'm the monster from It Follows. Mm -hmm. And like listen to the song that comes on I was just when about the monster to say, comes like, and like and follow people around. I was about to say a spoiler, but I don't. I don't want to like. Have you seen it? No, but you spoiled it for me. What did I say? You said that it's about like. Uh, sexually transmitted diseases. Yeah, I mean, but that's, like, not really a spoiler. Oh. It's just, like, that's the premise. STD ghosts. Yesterday, I arrived in the city. I know I promised to write sooner. I wanted to. I tried, but the de desert, desert is unforgiving and... No, the dessert is unforgiving. The dessert is unforgiving and restless, and I don't have a moment to breathe. You can't even begin to imagine what it's like. The burning heat of the hot chocolate landscape of... Of, oh my of god, fudge. we're in Candyland! Landscape of fudge. I applied for asylum today. The people here speak strangely, so I don't really understand what I have to do. I'm sure I will figure out it out quickly, though. Oh. In the meantime, I try to write everything down so I don't forget how things work around here. Don't be mad at me. I will write more often from now on. If everything goes according to plan... I will be able to send you money soon, and maybe you can join me? The South is not a good place for people like us anymore. I hope you're well. Kiss Eric for me. Love your brother. Oh, okay. Now I understand what that review was about. I understood. I understood. I mean, I understood, but now I understand. Yeah. If that makes sense. By the way, did you know, important information, the U.S. government has Border Patrol at a higher point except for one place that goes into a desert in Arizona and over 2,000 people have died in that desert because they think if they have that be the only point in it's going to deter people from trying to hop the fence but it doesn't over 2,000 people since the year 2000 have died in that desert I, th I honestly thought it would be way more that's still a lot I know, that, I know that's a lot of people but like that nobody cares that yeah. like this is happening I mean uh, if you so I don't mean to sound callous but if you look at like the migrant crisis that's happening over in Europe right now I think that that's that's way uh the num like them trying to cross the sea in boats that aren't designed for that many people I understand where you're coming from I'm just talking about with you know, people coming from Mexico and further south. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, well, they don't work hard on stu and stuff. And I'm like, you realize they came from a place where their families saved for an entire generation to send their strongest child across the border in hopes that maybe they can get them, like, $5 a day? How about we, how about okay, we get sorry. into the game a little bit before we start... Do you know that they call, you know what they call the United States? They call it the promised land. I knew as soon as I saw that review that this, the comment section for this is going to be a mess. I don't give a shit. If you have a problem with uh, Mexican, Mexican immigrants, uh, come fight me in real life. I swear to God. Okay. This is what church is like. Oh, is this what church is? Oh, right, right mouse to convert. Cool. Oh, I have not been seen. Okay. Did I convert? I have no idea what any of that meant. I've been seen. So now I can go to church and be seen. Yay! Let's convert. Yay! Yay? Yeah. 
Hey, have you ever, ever been to that that place where um they have an altar of a dead guy and then you go up and eat his flesh and blood? Have you ever been there? No. I think they call it um church. I've been in buildings, <laughs> but never paid attention to what goes on. I've been there for like weddings and funerals. Did you ever like notice that? Like they're like. Here is an effigy of our dead god that we pray to, oh. and now you will eat his flesh and blood. Yeah. Isn't that kind of, like, weird if you think about it that way? Well, I mean, like, they came up with those traditions, like, thousands of years ago. It's no wonder. Oh, uh, uh, well, okay. Let's go get, let's, uh, go click on things. I mean... If you go back far enough, like, religious traditions and, like, sacrifices and stuff, that stuff's all, you know, it's all in our history. Eat the flesh of your dead god. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, is that really weirder than let's sacrifice babies? You know? Logic with Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> is eating a cracker and some wine at church any different from sacrificing babies? No, I'm saying... I don't think so. I'm saying, <laughs> you're, you're, I'm saying you think that's weird, and I'm saying those traditions came out around, like, the same, you know... The, the, sacrificing I, babies. Listen, that's why I'm saying if the apocalypse goes down, I am running the fuck away from Stacy. <laughs> Bring it back! We're bringing it back, buddies! You have nothing to offer. Okay. Um. I just got a note. How yeah. do I open it? <laughs> Left click on the post boxes that you will find. Okay. I kind of like it. Are you annoyed by the weirdness, Stacy? No, no, I'm not. I just, um... I just... You don't need to interpret it. We can just absorb it. Don't feel pressure to say anything. No, I just, you know, um... I know that it, for some people it can be, like, a very divisive, like, political issue, even though I myself don't believe it has to be. About what? Uh, like, immigration, and I just, I kind of dread opening up the topic. That's if all. you have a problem with immigration, fight with me, don't message Stacy. <laughs> message me and I'll yell at you. I don't have a problem, but Stacy doesn't want to deal with you, no, so I'll no, do it. I, I'm more worried about, you know, like, other people having to deal with, like, the comments section, you know? It's like, it's different for us because we can, like... If you say something racist in the comment section, you're permanently banned, even if it's a joke. Well, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how I feel that day. <laughs> 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 oh, I died. Okay. I'm dead. Right. Okay. But enter the mines. The mining. Whoa. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> I mean, maybe this is like a maze. Like, we have to get through the maze. Maybe. Uh, oh, oh, I don't have a heart. I don't know what it means, though. I don't know what anything means. Maybe it's like stamina? Like, we only have so much time to find our way through? Uh, whoa! Okay. Is that the way that we have to go? I don't know. Let's go somewhere else. Yeah, I mean, I feel like this game has some interesting things to say. I just don't know what they're saying. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're saying yet. That's all. And I and and like it's a it's a topic that's personal enough to a lot of people that I don't want to try to put my own shit on what I think it is. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Like, there's a lot of things that, like, like, hardships that I can speak to personally, and this is definitely not one of them, so. Raphael yells at me, like, every day, and I'm like, I didn't do it to you. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> He's like, do you know? Do you know what my parents did? I'm like, yes, I know. I know. And I'm like, I didn't. What did, what did I do? My parent, my mom, what? <laughs> Why do you keep yelling at me? Well, but that's like when we get, you know, frustrated at men. Men, yeah. And they're like, I don't know how I didn't, to. I didn't do that to you. I don't know I'm how sorry. to help you. Can I help? No, you can't help. You're part of the problem. That's how Raphael, he'll come up to me and be like, did you know? I'm like, yeah, I know. I know. I was there when, when I was there. And yeah. he's like, okay then. Yeah. <laughs> but do you know? Yes, I know. It's like, you know, sometimes I can get like really intense, um, with people about like gay rights because I feel like sometimes people don't and I'm not trying to like sideline the topic away from immigration definitely not I just can't speak to it personally so I'm just you know how do I convert all I want to do is convert to the I I don't know how do I be absorbed into this society that see it is that, like, part of... All I'm trying to do is conform, and it's so hard. No, don't do it. Conform? No. I'll, I, you know, I'm trying to conform right now. Are we supposed right to now. go into They're making it very difficult, I'm just saying. What is this? Go home. Okay. Oh, this is my home. Oh, immigration commentary. Uh, is that, like, a person? Yes. So, in case you guys don't know, a lot of people who immigrate, uh, they'll work to for, the like, US. to the U.S. They'll work, like, picking tomatoes. They'll get, like, two cents a basket of tomatoes that they got, and then they'll all live in a place like this and save up their money to send home. Like, this is the type of working conditions a lot of immigrants have. Yeah. For real. Like, it's not a joke. This is literally it. Well, and, you know, we're, I, I, I think this game is, like, specifically looking at um, immigration from, like, Mexico to the U.S., but over, over time, there have been many different countries that, like, resulted in, like, waves of immigration to the U.S., like, most, one of the most notable ones was probably Ireland. <gasps> oh, okay, sorry, I'm sorry, continue. It's okay. One of the most notable ones was probably, like, Ireland and Italian, and so, like, if you go back in history, you can see, like, pictures and Uh, right. You can see, like, pictures of how, you know, history treated the, like, waves of Irish and Italian people that came over here. Like, I feel like some of the crappy treatment that immigrants get, it's really, it really just depends on, like... Who's the bad guy? Big bad yeah, wolf. Yeah, yeah. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that, like, it's... Somebody has something to blame. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, it's there, it's, it's, right now it's the, like, oh, we're gonna build a wall against Mexico because that's where our problems are coming from. I'm like, um, I, when was the last time you heard a problem about, like, a, a Mexican immigrant doing something? And when was the last time you had somebody who had mental health issues and had easy access to guns. Yeah. Exactly. We're getting political, and if you want to yell at me, message me. Don't message Stacey, because <laughs> she doesn't want to deal with shit, and you can yell at me. Um, but yeah, you can see, like, all sorts of, like, crazy pictures of, like, sh signs in shops saying, like, that they were hiring but not looking for Italians, things like that. And it really just showed... That was in maybe, like, the like mid-1800s, I think. Mm -hmm. And I can't speak to anything that's happening in Europe. Like, I'm not an expert on that, but it's pretty bad. Yeah. That's all I can say. I mean, I, I don't want to uh, say anything wrong. Yeah. Well, basically, uh, the situation over there, and I can't speak to it, like, as an expert, but basically, they, people are trying to get... People will try to leave the country and get to Europe, like, and they go across the sea in boats that are not designed to hold as many people as so, they... So, kind of like Cuba? Yeah, it's... The United yeah. States? Mm-hmm. 
And so there will be, like, these boats of, like, hundreds of people that capsize in the ocean, and then the Coast Guard has to go rescue them. And, you know, hundreds of people die because they drown. Because they want to get out of there. Yeah, because they want to get out of there so bad that it's, like, you know... They're willing to take the risk, which I feel like people don't understand. Like, that's very telling of, like, just how bad, just how badly they want to get out. You know what I mean? Like, they're willing to take on that risk. Well, anyway, I'm quitting this game because I don't know what's going on. Let me out! Let me out! Hope you liked our commentary and yelling. I hope you didn't like it! And occasionally yelling. I hope you didn't like it. I don't care what you think. <laughs>